Pro-life advocates were hailing the news that Roe v. Wade could be overturned. They tell Michael Chen from our San Diego affiliate that scrapping the decision would be a victory for the unborn. Debbie Bradle prays every day, and soon one of her most long-held prayers could come true. Hopeful, very hopeful. The pro-life community has been hoping for this day. That was Bradle's reaction after learning Roe v. Wade could soon be overturned. Bradle, who is Catholic, has been a pro-life advocate for the last four decades. In the last 10 years, I've participated in prayer vigils at abortion centers weekly. 10 years ago is also when Bradle, a nurse along with a local doctor, spearheaded the controversial abortion pill reversal program, which aims to reverse an abortion before the second pill is taken. Critics point to a lack of scientific proof, but Bradle says thousands of lives have been saved. She says Roe v. Wade, the law of the land for nearly 50 years, has gone against another law. As soon as the sperm and the egg unite, that God gives a soul to that new human being. Anyone else steps in to take the life of that human being, they are violating God's law. Rose Castillo has been attending pro-life vigils for about a decade. She says she gets emotional thinking about what a Roe v. Wade reversal could mean. It's a huge blessing for the lives that aren't able to speak for themselves. This past January, thousands attended the 10th annual Walk for Life at Waterfront Park. Gradle, who spoke at the event, says the chatter that day was about the decision now in the hands of the Supreme Court. They were hopeful that this day would come soon. And the possibility of saving the lives of the unborn. It will give me peace. The numbers of abortions will decrease in the United States. Michael Chen, ABC 10 News. And overturning Roe v. Wade could impact medical training. A team of researchers at UCLA claim that undoing the abortion law would leave half of the country's gynecology residency programs without proper abortion training for medical students. In 2020, 92% of obstetrics and gynecology residents reported having access to some type of abortion training. Researchers say that could drop to 56% if Roe v. Wade is overturned. 